Hi everybody, it's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. This is the reading for July 2019 for Scorpio. So I've already shuffled the cards. Let's see what we have for Scorpio. Okay, so we have a seven of wands. So we're looking at this as saying it's a good time in July for you to start reassessing things that are going on with work and social situations. And if you don't work, it is primarily what you're doing in your life, how you're working your life right now. People around you, friends, family. Have you been a doormat for people? Have you let people kind of tell you what to do? It's time for you to make a stand for yourself. And it's not about you being aggressive or mean. It's about you being loving for yourself and letting people know that this is who I am and this is where I draw the line in the sand. This is how things are going to be. So now, if you look at this as a love relationship, it, it pertains to the same way. Has someone been abusing you in a situation and you've got to make a stand for yourself? Um, you can be afraid if you want to, but it's best that you look at this as a way of empowering yourself. And you know that Scorpio is all about power and desire. Life, death, rebirth, okay? Very regenerative energy, transitional energy. And this is a time of great transition for you. I have these earth stones here and uh, crystals to show grounding. This month, I really feel all of us in the world will need grounding in July. Um, but it, it could also be that you're taking a lot of guff from people. You know, you have a lot of action coming at you. Everybody's got their opinion and something to say to you. Um, you have to really look at this as saying, I hear you, thank you, but this is what I'm going to do. It's time for you to stand up for yourself. And you don't have to be um, like the scorpion that stings back. You can be the higher vibrational Scorpio of the eagle, looking above the situation, see, as they are, with clarity, disconnected from all the chatter and clamor to assert yourself in this situation and, and show them that I am strong and this is how I'm going to do this in my life. This card is Mars and Leo. Now Mars was your ancient ruler, so Mars takes action. Leo is about compassion and love, but having fun. You know, these are two fiery elements, but expressed in a very strong, empowering way. And we love that for you. And we want to see that for you. And it might not even be to like August 12th to the 22nd because that's what this card is. So with anything in your life that's going on right now, apply that information to you about making a stand, you know, pushing off the chatter of everybody else and all that energy that's coming at you, keeping yourself grounded and blocking it. So you see he's blocking the energy, but not hitting back. Yeah, use your intuition too. So especially you, you're a water sign. You're highly intuitive. You're the second of the mystic houses, Scorpio. So use that feeling and sense that you have of knowing to handle. Like, you know, you can always tell when somebody's not feeling well, when they're sick, and you always want to lend a helping hand. You always want to create something and share yourself with someone. Use this energy to help yourself this month. Help heal yourself Help share love with yourself. Use your intuition to see what's going on around you so that you can make this, um, this, see this like protective energy, shield yourself from anything that's coming at you. Now, if this is a child, this would be our Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. And um, if it's got something to do with this child, they're influencing the situation or um, affecting the situation. This is usually up to the age of 18, maybe having some conflict with this child, a teenager who's asserting themselves. Um, again, use your power to make a stand for yourself as a good example, because even defiant children look to us, or adults, or structure in their life. Even if they resist it, they do seek discipline and some form of solid ground to... Um, to base their own lives on. You know, it's, it's their early environment that is impressed by people and situations around them. And you want to be a good example for yourself. Show love for yourself and strength for yourself so that they could learn to love themselves too. And they won't ever be in a position where people are abusing them. Now, if it's not about a child, this page also represents you as a novice 
and messages. So it could be good news, messages coming to you, okay, emotionally, spiritually, regarding this situation here where you've had some conflict with other people. Everybody's tossing their hat in the ring and telling you what to do. Um, and if it's not about that, it would also be for some of you, uh, it's... It's like a new beginning for you emotionally. You're starting something new. Maybe you have challenges at work or a business, uh, buying a house, whatever it is. This is a new energy for you that you're learning. Trust your intuition with this. Keep connecting with spirit on this to help you with this situation. Let's see. The pages usually are young children, but if it doesn't involve a child for you, like I said, this is actions and energies for yourself. Good news coming to you about work or a social situation. Emotionally, you're feeling very happy about it. And if, if, it's not about, um, if it's not about a message for you, then it could just be that you're beginning a new cycle in your own inner divination with helping you to entrust your, your messages that you're getting from yourself to help you with your life. Hmm. Major arcana, justice. For some of you, it's a legal situation. Maybe there's a battle going on over a child. You have custody, you have child support, um, whatever this is with this child, then this is justice being served for you. You're going to get what you need for the situation. It might not be everything you want, but you could feel very balanced by it. See, the, the cups are not, one deck shows it like higher and lower. Some decks show it that they're balanced. This is a balanced decision. See? You're protected on both sides, people in spirit, pillar. The 11, two ones, just like the columns. This is portal energy. We're coming upon eclipse season. Things are going to eclipse from our lives. These are going to change. All the stuff that's been going on in the past year or so is going to come to an end now. And you can feel very safe and secure with this decision. Now, if it's not something to do with a child and uh, getting child support or custody of a child, it could be things that have been going on in your life where you feel injustices have been served. And it's not always about legal. It's things that have not been in balance in your life. Maybe your health has not been balanced, your love life, your relationships, your partnerships, friendships, people at school, your studies, your vocation or trade. Whatever has been out of balance, the justice card shows up in our lives when it's showing us that it is a time to restore that. And maybe you've been trying to. And haven't been able to. Well, spirit is here to help you. You had to do what was necessary to be balanced, even if it wasn't pleasant or it was something that you didn't feel was morally the right thing to do at the time. But at the time, it was the only thing you felt you could do. All right. But right now, that is part of the past. This card is talking about feeding spirit. All right. Trusting that they're here to help you. They're always beside you with whatever you want in your life, something very simple or even very great worldly ambitions. Spirit's always there. This is about being fair in your dealings, thoughts, words, actions with people. And this will bring balance in yourself, in your home, and even in work or business. Oh, another page. So some of you, it's about children. You know, that something's going on with the children. They're under 18, maybe having a little hard time with them. It's the summertime. They're driving you nuts. Or you don't know what to do to help them, to keep them busy. You don't want them sitting in front of a TV or video games or the computer. You know what I'm saying? Take them outside. Take them to the beach if you can. Do staycations if you have a pool. Uh, try and find people in the neighborhood that have the same situation with kids. Or go online and find other single mom or single dads or even married couples with children that need something to do. There's so much online. I wish I had this available, you know, years ago too. But I kept my children busy anyway. I was that kind of mom. I, I think I wore them out. But um, with this young page, this is Aries, Sag or Leo. All right, very fiery, loves pets and animals and wildlife and outdoors, and they love them. Um, very empowered, creative young child. Maybe a little bit too fiery and sassy for you, uh, Scorpio, but you kind of like the fact that they do have some bite to them. And it could be that uh, you're having a hard time trying to help them find their way. Don't worry about that right now. It's temporary. They're coming into their own. And as, as long as you're there to show love and support and understanding, this child will be fine. 
they're going to be okay. It's just a growing pains that they're going through. It's nothing to be alarmed with, even if you might think so. But your, trust your intuition to be there. Talk to them. Show love and compassion. That's very important with this child. Now, if it's nothing to do with a child for you, again, the pages are messages. This is messages about work or social situation. This is energy coming back to you, renewed sense of energy. This is definitely divine masculine energy for you. So if you've been feeling a little drawn out from this that's been played out, all this drama, this is you feeling like a brand new child, renewed, new energy. You have that all spark. You're coming up with ideas again. And if it isn't for some of you, that it's nothing to do with a legal situation or a situation that drain you like a, a relationship that was toxic and unhealthy that you're out of, a job that you left, a vocation you didn't like, some course of studies you couldn't stand anymore. This is a new beginning for you and you're feeling very excited. Head is up. See, you're facing this. This is a new challenge for you in your life, but you're excited and passionate about it and you've been waiting so long. You've been really waiting so long for this newness in your life. So whatever it is, if it's love, health, school, work, anything to do with the arts, just know that you in July are going to be facing a lot of new changes, Scorpio. You're going to be, and you're, you're up for it. You're that alchemist. You're ready for transformation and to transmute old energies. Just stay grounded. That's what this circle is for, all of us to be grounded this month. Go to that place that you need to whether it's by the shore, out for a walk, even if you just like going shopping, just to window shop. Guys, you get on a bike or girls and go for a run, you know, with the guys and, and you know, if you're into motorcycles or if you like to exercise, boot camps, whatever it is. This is the energy and the vim and vigor and vitality that you need to start uh, this new phase in your life after this ordeal. It's been very draining. Maybe the children are on vacation and it's easier for you not to schlep all the time back and forth to school, gymnastics, soccer. Enjoy your summer. Relax with the children. If there's no children in your life, be childlike. Enjoy your life. Relax for yourself. And even in the southern hemisphere where it's winter right now, have fun, play, go out, do things okay, to relax yourself from what's just been transpired and it's over in your life. I'm going to pull an Enchanted Map Oracle card for Scorpio for the month of July 2019. So let's see what we have because you have some energies that you're working through. I like the pages because they always bring us the news that we're waiting for and these two pages bring good news, okay? So you have some good news coming to you for emotionally and about your energy too. And if it's about your children, everything is going to work out okay. Justice will be served. Oh, nice. My daughter's a Scorpio. She loves giraffes. One of my daughters, anyway. Encouragement. Oh, that's so nice to give you right now because you're always looking to help everybody else. Right, Scorpio? So let's see what number 54, encouragement, and that's a nine. So this, this is saying, you know, that phase is over. You're starting something new. This is all over now. It's in the past. And look to it as just something that you had to go through to grow through. So this card says you are receiving a nudge in the right direction. This card tells you that you're being encouraged to step into your power, into the dream of your life. New things are out there to be explored and the nurturing power of the universe is giving you a nudge in the right direction. You will get the help you need and won't be alone in your quest. Every step you take right now is supported by the wisdom of the universe. You are on the right path. Keep going. I love that they kept using the word power in there twice. And I said that. You are about power. All right? Desire. Use this for your own empowerment. Again, all these yellow colors is definitely that chakra of empowerment. And it's to encourage you that you are on the right path. You're heading in the right direction. And everything... Even the things that don't seem so nice in your life or our lives is unfolding as it should in the universe. So I hope you guys have a great July, a great summer or winter in the Southern Hemisphere. This card's not going to stay up. And um, enjoy yourselves. Thanks for watching and subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. I'll see you guys next month. And as always, I wish you the best.